Ah, yes. Good morning to everyone. It is fall. Okay, so there you go, Saturday. So I'm way behind the times, as usual. As you can see, all the leaves now are down and gone. And this little specimen, friends, we're very proud of. This was given to us in a pot by Lisa. If I'm not mistaken, honey. Back, remember? Was it Lisa? It was, honey. I think so. I think Lisa gave us it. Because it was a gift, right? We've had this a long time. I remember when the kids were on the deck playing around, little teeny kids. Right. We had it in a pot. So anyway, friends, I this is the style of pruning, friends. That in that case, thanks to Lisa because we love that. Thing. Well, we do love it, and and I, I think it was Lisa. Lisa Larson. Lisa Larson, a wonderful specimen. <laughs> now, friends, this is part of. Buck and Billy Ray that some of you, especially who are new here, may not know about me in, in, in this realm. Uh, a lot of you know me just as a cutter, a, a, you know, fall or climber, tree cutting, killing, tree killing guy. Well, that's actually only one facet of old Billy Ray. Um, I actually love the forest and trees and greenery and shrubs and, and little trees. And most loggers do. To be honest, they do. Most loggers love the forest. This, this mentality of slash, cut and burn, that's not what it is. The forest was a means to feed their family. And, and that's what it was for me. Um, but in urban forestry and... I take much pride in people allowing me to touch their trees, especially this species, the, the, the ornamental or the Japanese maple, that aspect of, of pruning, you see? So I'm actually gonna set this camera up and, and it's fall now. I've treated this tree with so much love over the years, friends, and I'm very ginger on, on the pruning. Oh, you're back out. You got your stand up and buck shirt on. So, so originally when I did the prune on this tree, the, the, it was lopsided. The tree, as you can see, it still is a bit. It's heavy in this, in this way. See how it rolls out this way, friends? And a little lighter on the back side, which is fine. It's totally fine. It, it, we planted it in the same aspect as this one. This little stick of a tree grew up and bent over like that. That's its central leader. That tells you. Check out the central leader on that, friends. Look at how teeny that thing was. It's going that way. So I'll see if I can pull up a picture of this little tree, this Deodora Himalayan cedar. Okay, friends, I just want to talk to you about this for a second. When you're planting trees, it is the, the biggest mistake is, is, is planting it in the wrong spot. I planted this tree knowing that it would grow out and over that little rock. Look at our little river. Look at the size Dwarf of this thing creeper. Now. It, this is our exact dream when we decided to plant this tree here. Friends, a lot of trees wouldn't have to be pruned if they were planted in the right spot. Seriously, it's about planting a tree in the right spot is how much you'll have to prune it. Okay? So, this thing's is glorious. It's glorious. It's huge now. But I remember planting it and I remember seeing the thing come up and go whoop. And really not much on this side because of the house side. And I knew, well, we'll put it this way. And we had a little idea of a little river of rocks coming, growing underneath it. And here it is. Here's our little river. And it grows over top of the river. And our, our design has come together. So it's so nice to see a vision come together. Isn't that a specimen, friends? You know, it, isn't that lovely? And that's your Deodor. They just are lovely. I just want to give you a good... So, friends, again, this is part of me that a lot of folks aren't aware of. I know how to prune stuff. It, it, it's... I, I love it. Now, here's, here's an interesting thing. 
You have to have a reason to prune a tree. That's in every pruning book you ever read. It's why are you pruning the tree? What is the idea? What, why, what, you know, especially when, when, when tree services come to your house or, and they're like, you know, I ask the customer, I'll say, what's, what do you need? Why do you want to cut this tree? Well, there's too many leaves. Oh, oh, okay. Interesting. So it's not about light. You don't want light or you don't want to and this and that. So I always ask, why are we cutting the tree? Well, the old story, like every pruning book, like I said, either deadwood, crossover branches, irregular growth, disease, uh, uh, fungi, any, anything like that. That's the reason why, right? But then you run into, well, this tree now is growing too big and it's starting to reach out into my driveway or this other tree, or it's starting to uproot rocks. Or, you know what I mean? So there's all kinds of stuff to urban tree service. So, so here again is this little, this little maple. And friends, let me tell you, it is a glorious little specimen. But as you can see, it's got kind of a splay this way, you know, kind of a little bit of a splay out that way. Not drastically, the stem is dead square but we knew we had a major crotch, which is right there. And then it goes out here. Look at this branch here, friends. I wanna show you this. I'm gonna give you a really good idea of what's going on here. I'm gonna try my best to keep the camera. Look at that branch. Look at that guy. It grows straight down. Isn't that neat, that one right there? So I'm gonna prune this thing actually right now. And, and what I want to do, I don't like, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't like taking heading cuts or topping wounds, opening up. Uh, so what I had in the original pruning of this tree, yeah, see here's the backside and it is, it is a little lighter back here by nature in this hole here, which is fine. We've got all these nice little things here. Maybe what I'll do, just to give everybody an idea, this will just be a fun little video for us to do friends. Okay, let's, let's, let's just look, okay. I've totally like got my track pants on, my hoodie and my little Mac shirt because it's, I just, this just hit me because I wanted to wait to prune this tree. Okay, so here's the deal. The tree is kind of, it's it's a little heavier this way. There's, there's a little bit of action here. We're talking small prunings, friends. I'm not talking whack, whack, big cuts. It's not happening. Okay, now this tree has a kind of a natural, kind of a, the, the nice thing I like about this part of the tree is it droops down and it grows down and I like that. But there is a crown missing here, which is just the way the tree grew, friends. Right here is a big missing, and you've got crown here, crown here, um, but very nice low scaffolding branches in here. It's lovely in through here. Very nice out there. Your, your, de your central leader is kind of here. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do over here. Yeah, there's a good look at the tree right there with the darkness in behind it. See it? See how we're, we're like this? But friends, really, this tree could be left alone. But if you leave it another season, listen to the birds, friends. Okay? You see what's going on there? You see that guy right there, friends? See that? Just, just little starting to shoot up here and there. So I'm gonna bring you guys in and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do here. We're gonna talk pruning cuts, we're gonna talk balance, and we're gonna talk overall tree health and proper pruning techniques, not over pruning. See that one I was just talking to you about? Right there, that guy right there, he's starting to run away on this side of the crown, a lot of energy. And I'm gonna show you previous wounds and the shape they're in. See over there. All right, friends. So I uh, I kind of want to do a, a, a prune on this little tree. And there's only a couple areas on it really that, that need to be done. And I've got my GoPro because I want the cuts to be, I want to show you some close up cuts on, on this uh, little tree that we've done over the years. You know what I mean by that, right? Like the previous, our previous cut at any point it's really only had the a little bit of the crown pulled out of it um a couple years back but you can see we talked about it earlier in the in the video it's a little bit heavy this way crown sun is southern here this is all southern exposure all this way
But that's not the main reason that does that. This is the way this tree grew. And I'll show you what I did to balance it out back in the day. It was way more heavy that way, to be honest. And I'm just gonna show you. We just turned on our GoPro and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send you guys, here's a great shot of this little tree right here. But before we do that, I've gotta show you my little spruce, my little dome creeping spruce. It's really taken off, it covers the ground. I like how they do that actually. Of course, you can't have, you know, you can't be home, at home without one of those or those. And whenever I need these, I just grab them out of the the landscape and go use them and put them back. It's funny. See here? So let's, let's look at this as a team here. GoPro on. It's on right now. Now, the original wounds on these trees were a couple of years ago and you can see one right there friends you can see one right there friends see that see how that's so close to the to the main structure there's another little what looks like maybe one broke there or maybe that was a prune i don't know but here so what i was afraid of what we're always afraid of friends is like sucker growth off of a wound anything big you are especially the maple species you get what they call suckers or not necessarily epicormic, but just sucker growth, lion tailing, you know, off of a wound, off of an old wound. So you've got to be careful in spots like this. There is another wound right here. I'm going to show it to you. See that right there, friends? This camera's wonderful for this. That is one of the original wounds I gave this tree. It was starting to get really tall and I didn't want that. Now, here's how we prune this, friends. I've got the perfect example to show you some proper pruning techniques here. I was afraid that this was going to sucker, friends. I really was. And it, it never did, which is really good. And see it starting to curl over and heal? These are really neat trees. This broke in the snow. See that little, just that little bust right there? Just broke off a little here. You see? Schnip. Little, that can actually come out of there now. See? So you want all your wounds close to the trunk, as close to the trunk as possible. So we've got a couple things I wanna show you right now. We look for uh, anything crossing over or anything growing irregular, uh, which to me, I'm gonna start, and usually when you prune a tree like this, friends, don't go all over the place. Start somewhere, like say we start here, which really doesn't need anything. So we inspect it, we look, uh, no, is that dead? Yeah, it is. See that? You can tell the dead wood. You're better to find your dead wood when the foliage is on it, but I've been doing this for years, so I know what dead wood looks like. And you can actually just, there. see there's another little piece of dead wood. And, and you've just got to be careful. See this little guy here, friends? See this little character here? Just, let's just snip him out of there. There he goes. Gone. See? Teeny little piece right there. So here, here's something that's, important to watch see this here it's not rubbing through yet can you guys see that right there yeah, you probably can can't you yeah right there this is starting to rub right here okay but it's not terrible so what would you do would you would you take this out or 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 take it there no you could but this is the this is the lighter side of the tree it's heavy over here so we've got to be careful i'm okay with this right now this is the main scaffolding branch off of here. It comes out. I mean, I could take this one because it goes down. See this goes down here and, and it adds into foliage into here. But I'm not really worried about that. It, it's not a drastic scenario. See that just teeny bit of rubbing right there. There's no a breakthrough cambium or anything yet. I keep an eye on that. You would never snip here like this. You would not do that. That would be an improper pruning. See that right there? This limb? that would be improper. You would either take it here, okay? Or you would take this one and leave. But that taking limbs off of the main structure like this can make this more leggy. This keeps it strong. So well, I think we're okay here. We're actually okay here. Give it a little dead wood here. This looks like there might be a little bit of dead wood in here. There's no bark on this, but I don't want to get it get excited thinking I know where the dead wood is right now. See this one here? Look at that. That actually looks dead, doesn't it? 
but it's not breaking. You see, it's still bending. So let's not do that That's just yet. Look at that. That actually looks dead, doesn't it? But it's not breaking. You see, it's still bending. So let's not do that just yet. Let's not get carried away. Let's wait for the foliage to come out and make sure. This looks good here. I know I'm talking a lot, but this is important stuff. Here is... Let's not get carried away. Let's wait for the foliage to come out and make sure. This looks good here. I know I'm talking a lot, but this is important stuff. Here is, here is a crossover branch. I'm going to show you right here. Look at this right here. See, it comes from here, goes down and look at right here. See that? That's, that's, that's actually hitting pretty hard right there. It is. It's laying on that pretty hard. So this could come up. Would you look at that? Before you prune anything, I just lifted it up and now it's laying in there nicely. So, you know what I mean, friends? Take a look at before. Don't just start hacking away. There's nothing wrong with that. This is okay. I could nip that little guy right there just to free this up, but that's fine. That's fine. You know what? I think I might actually just take this guy right here. There. There we go. A little close to the collar. Not too bad. You got to watch for sun scald come summer too. Okay? So there we go. Now, here's one that I'm not too tickled about. And it's, see, we also, we also did a wound right there a long time ago. There was a mess of madness in here and I pruned it and see what it's doing? It's taking care of business. But I'm gonna tell you something, honestly, I'm gonna tell you guys something right now. This tree is heavy on this side. It is, look at it. You can see it, it's quite heavy this side. It's not a terrible situation. It's not a terrible situation. Okay, so. I don't need to do anything here, friends. Nothing. It's fine. We need a little action here. I don't like how this is bouncing up over here. See that? That's crawling up there. We're going to deal with that sucker right now. It's time to prune. It's time to prune your trees. It's time to prune. It's time to prune your trees. Now I'm going to actually look at this very closely here. See, we snipped this one off. Friends. Here. See, we snipped this one off, friends. We snipped that little guy just so this could be free in there. It was under here like this. We thought maybe there was something going on. There's not. That's nice in there, but I don't like this. See, this is growing up. It's, start, it's starting to get kind of crazy here. And I like this tree growing like, like it is. It's beautiful, this tree. Look at it. It really is nice. This is interesting here. I'm almost thinking of taking this right out. I'm not joking you friends. I mean, I could do this. It's getting pruned anyway. I'll tell you that right now. It is getting pruned. So it just seems a little bit irregular here. I'm thinking I'm, I'm getting rid of this. Watch this. Boom. Bang. There we go. Now look at what happened. Look at this friends. Look at that. It's got beautiful, beautiful symmetry in here now. And all I did was take one branch out that kind of looped up and grew up. And something was wrong there a long time ago because you can see it right there. See here? Okay, so that's nice. Just nice and tight. Don't don't wham it at back into the collar. Just snip it outside the collar there, okay? This is looking great. This thing does not need much. It needs something here though, I think. I my my mission today was to try and get a little bit of balance here. Now, the only thing I oh that looks way better, friends. I've only I've hardly pruned anything. I'm concerned about this. I like this limb so much. It comes out like this and grows straight down. But remember something, friends. We're heavy in here. We are. We're heavy. I see something right now that can go and it looks dead. It is dead. Look at this, friends. See this? Look at this. Something's wrong here. You can see it. I want to bring you guys in real close. Look at here. See this? Look what's going on here. It, something's up. It's it's it's. It's trying to engulf this limb, but it can't because it's still in the main stem right there. It has to go in order to heal and it can't go anywhere. This has to go, friends. This has to go. See that? 
Now this will engulf this. You can see it's actually been trying to. That's beautiful. A guy could really even just take a little more of that stuff. He's fine, he doesn't need to. See, look at that friends. It just came off of there. That's very interesting. You've got to inspect your trees, inspect your trees. What's this? We go. Okay. I don't really want to take off when you touch it. This tree is beautiful, friends. It is. I I don't know what to do here. I'm thinking I, I'm almost thinking of taking this out, even though it's such a nice limb. But this tree is beautiful, friends. It is. I I don't know what to do here. I'm thinking, I, I'm almost thinking of taking this out, even though it's such a nice limb, but if you imagine this right here gone, what you would get is something a little bit lighter, but then, then there's also this. We could literally take this out, which would curl this down, and I wouldn't mind that. You see, it's, you see how it's, it's, you know what I'm saying? So, and again, a guy could get drastic and go here, but I would not do that. I, I, don't, I don't like that idea. So that's why I'm so ginger on stuff like this. I gotta look at this from a different angle. Yeah, see, look at that limb, how it's Down. bent and hooked. You, you've gotta be able to envision, but there's nice, that's nice symmetry there, friends. See that? That's got really nice symmetry. You see what I'm saying, friends? Like I prune on a small scale, like prunes like this, zap. You know what I mean? Zap or up in there. I go out to the crowns and work back. I don't pull stuff out of the middle. This thing's looking good, but, but I am a little, I'm struggling here a bit on what to do. So that means probably nothing for now because it doesn't need anything really if you think about it. Here's a little bit of dead stuff here. This is a good, this is interesting. I think it either broke at some point and rehealed. I don't know, but this is, this is great. We took that one. Um, so if this disappeared, we would have that, which would not. So friends, what goes on if for a little bit here is I struggle. I, I think about what would happen if this happened or what would this look like? It would all look fine. Every, every, idea and and uh, exercise would look fine but the problem is is i'm struggling with it so i leave it and i'll show you what happens here it's about symmetry for me i think i'm done i'm not joking i think i'm done i'm struggling with this because i know it won't look terrible if i take that right there i know it won't look awful at all gosh i'm struggling with this one I wonder if that means i should leave it friends Look at it, it's not hurting anything. But there's no prune. There is, there is no prune there. There's only one prune on that tree that can happen on this side, and it's this. It's right there at that. And what that does is that comes out off this main thing, and then if this big leader disappears, it disappears and leaves it to feed all of this, which is gonna push a lot of energy out to here, which I don't like. You see, I, I don't like it. So I just snipped a few off the crown here. Little wound right there, little wound right here. You won't even notice anything different change. Um, I guess I could, yeah, no, I, I... Could take maybe... That guy and start pushing this back just ever so slightly. See how that just nibbled back a little bit, friends, right here? There. So here's what we did. See that? <laughs> That's exactly right. That's what I'm talking about, right there. Teeniest little limb, just to push this back because it is, it is, oh, you know what, friends? You may not notice that, but I did. I noticed it. I like it. Let's prune along those lines. Let's do that. We already did this guy. Let's see if we can clean this up a little bit. Where's my glasses? 
There we go. That's better. See? There we go. Good. And there's that one. It's good. You can see fluid in it still. See? See it there? It's good. I do, I'm not going to take that. I'm not going to do it. And I also thought, should I take maybe one of these or one of those? And then it's like, no, I shouldn't. No. The reason we're at the point of the video where I'm talking about this limb right here. And the reason that I would not make any pruning cuts, I'm so glad I didn't do that, friends. It's, it's actually a while after the tree's been pruned now, like a week or something. You, you, you see, it's better lighting and everything now. It was a little, you see, a tree in my mind should, like this, they should, they work in the weather like this. So snow catches there, which eases up on this, which eases up on that and eases up on that. They work like a waterfall, okay? The biggest compliment, the biggest, hugest compliment for a tree worker is when he comes out of a tree is, what did you do? Did you, did, what did you do? You didn't, you didn't do anything. But yet you look over and there's a mountain of brush. That is a win for a tree worker. Now, if I was to come in here, okay, and we're talking about this limb right here, right now, this is the limb we're talking about. And I think to myself, I'm so glad I didn't. I'm now looking at this tree, friends, and going, I, I just, I, I absolutely love this tree. I absolutely love it. Where's that little area? I want to show you where I was talking about earlier. So this is a kind of a recap. So we did a little prune. Sorry, friends, right there. Okay. We did one here. Okay. We did one there. You can barely see it right there. Okay. Just little bits of lightening up, uh, redirection. See this one here, friends was coming out into here. We just open space for weather to fall through it. But here's what I was just talking about before I switched to my little video. Now think about this. Where can you prune? We're talking about this down dropping limb. Where could you prune? You think you see guys do it and it, it makes me, I, I actually don't like it at all when it happened. This up here is improper. That is improper. Even if it wasn't improper, this is definitely a third the size of that. Guess what? You'd go, oh, someone, someone pruned there. You can see the, the prune there. Hmm, pretty drastic. What you don't want is thick stumps, like thick, like this, all nice and thick, and then all of a, all of a sudden chop and then into this. You, you, you want to avoid that. Friends, this is a young tree. I'm telling you, that wound right there, friends, was done, I'm talking, a long time ago. I'm really surprised it's taking this long to heal. I'll be honest, I am. I know I've already talked about this, friends, but it's it, it was huge. Friends, that limb went like way up into the, way up in here. And it just, I did not want a great big tree. And at that time, friends, it was in a pot. So look at what we've got here now. Look at this sucker. I know it's difficult because of the trees in the background to get a good, but I, I'm, I'm so glad I left that limb right there. See it? It's right there. Now, yes, of course I could have took it and it wouldn't have been the end of the world. There's another one there's gonna come in and fill, do, do whatever, but no, no, it, it, I'm so glad we left it. Look at it, because this is, this is symmetry. See that limb out there, friends? That long one? We're coming up the driveway. So this is what you see when you come to the house. This is the angle of the tree you get. Now, if I had a took that, it would have really changed it from this particular angle. You see? So I'm always taking less than more, always. Because guess what, friends? There's always next year, right? There's always next year. A little bit of fungi on there, see that? Look at this, friends. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> like, what's it doing there? Same thing that's doing there and that's doing there. It's very normal for these trees, friends. 
It is, but that's actually quite a good sized piece. I kind of like that guy. <laughs> so anyway, maple, Japanese maple, okay? Uh, I talk about a little finesse. I talk about a little, um, oh, I see a couple little things I can do right there. Okay, here's one that probably happened recently. See this here? See right there, friends? That's gotta go, right there. It's probably dead, it'll probably snip off. Yes, it did, there it goes, pop. It just snipped right off. So now this will be able to heal, carry on. I'll come in over with my little snippers and I'll probably give that a little cleanup right there. Okay, so friends, uh, I, I love my trees, eh? I do, I, I, I don't over prune. If anything, I under prune because there's always the following year. And then what happens is you get another year of say an inch or two of growth, depending on species, anywhere from an inch to four, five, six inches in different species. This thing grows like freaking a foot, two feet a year. It does. This, is, this was all new this year from like probably in here. And look at how, how, how much growth came into it. It's crazy. I think I even, yeah, it's, these trees grow like mad. So anyway, friends, I'm going to let you go. But uh, I've, I've wanted to do this video for a long, long time. And uh, I get excited around these types of prunes. I mean, look at my face. <laughs> I do, <laughs> I love it. Look after the trees, trees first, friends. Trees first. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll tell you, I sure did making it. I enjoyed making it. Tree cutting, axe making, junkie. He's a tree cutting, he's a tree cutting feller. Thanks for watching. Massage your trees. Be kind. This looks interesting right here. Why is there all this? This, this kind of looks a little funky here. You know why? Because it was dead. Did, did you see what just happened there, friends? And how I noticed it, this is why it's better to do dead wooding when the leaves are on. Look at this, it's breaking and snapping. It's because I saw this right here. See it, it's kind of swelling right here. It was dead. It was doing the same thing that that was doing right there. See this? Oh yeah, look at that in there. Look at that, friends. See, it was trying to get a hold of that. You, you, you can create big problems if you don't inspect your trees and see these problems when they arise. These have notorious little bits of, of fungus in them. They're like that. That tree, this tree has that. So I'm, I'm glad, glad we, we came out and gave this thing some love. And we've actually just changed that symmetry a little bit in the crown there. I like it. I like it a lot. Friends, listen, this tree did not need a lot of pruning at all, but it did need some. People think, I, I've seen it so much, friends. Uh, today's lesson is don't over prune. Seriously, that, that's, that's the lesson today or what you can take from this today is don't over prune. And sometimes the best pruning is no pruning. Seriously, is, is to go up, give the tree some love, talk to it, maybe just caress it with your hands. And as you're caressing it, like, like just, you know, just like this kind of, giving it this, you'll hear a little, there's another little piece, see that? Snapped off, a little bit of dead wood. You just, just featherly touch it and little bits of dead wood will fall off. That will allow, that will allow that little wound to heal. See, there's another one there. You just like this and, and just give it little bits of this and little bits of dead wood fall off it. And then that little wound, that little wound can now heal over and, and do its thing. Is that, does that make sense, friends? I, I'm tickled. I'm, uh, I'm just tickled with this thing, friends. Okay, friends, as I was just watching this back, I saw, I was talking about something and I saw something. It was right here and I know what it is. It was a piece of dead wood. It's right here. So I was talking to you guys, sorry, I was talking to you guys about this, okay? And in the, in the, in the frame, I saw this right here. Go back, you'll see it. Now, that probably was 
it looks to me like, I don't know if it was a prune, but it's not clean enough. That, that's not clean enough, friends. Uh, and it will separate you from your, it should be like this. This is how this should be. Your prune should be like this, okay? You know, I mean, there's, you see this stuff here? See this? I'm not gonna scrape that off because there, there's collar and live material there. I could literally give it, see that? You see what just happened? Like there, it, whatever breaks, take it. But don't go past this collar. Don't start digging into there. A little nub like that is okay because it's compartmentalized that. The only thing that could go is maybe a little bit of that top thing there. But don't start digging in. But this, I do not like. There. Okay, see what I just done? Right here. That's better. I like, this will separate you from the, the, the people out there that aren't, aren't, you know, taking care in their work. It will separate you. That could even go. There. You see that? Stay off the collar. I just noticed that in the video and I, I you know, your collars are in there. Okay, this little stuff's fine. Okay, friends, I just wanted to, to show that because I saw that. And remember that one I broke off with my finger? Let's go over, I'll show you. Because anybody who knows stuff about trees, they'll see this and they'll say, hey, Bucking, remember that one I broke off with my thumb? Right there, the little piece of deadwood? Truly a guy should come in. And minimize that, look at it, it's dead anyway. There we go. See it? it? Oh, sorry, friends. Sorry. See? I just took a little bit off. It's dead wood. See it? It's brown. Look at that. There's a socket there. So get that out of there, that stuff. And that will now heal over. It has a chance. Look at the white wood on the ring. It wants to close up, friends. So I'm telling you, separate yourself from the hack. And don't take care of your trees. They'll, they'll, they'll love you for it and less problems will arise. This was a long video. Friends, I am, I'm a freak about this stuff. I am. Look. Okay. Get these close to the freaking collar. That's dead now, you see? That's dead wood in there. It's gonna compartmentalize it and it'll be gone. But if you leave stubs, you're asking for trouble. You're asking for trouble. No stubs and stay off your collars. Thank you for watching. Thank you for thumbing upping or downing or commenting or anything you do on the channel that shows that there's activity happening over here on Buck and Billy Ray's YouTube channel. BuckandBillyRay.com for some spectacular, spectacular merchandise. And I'm not just saying that, it's super duper stuff. We put a lot of effort into our designs and our merchandise and it helps the channel. You know these stories. Be kind to one another, friends. Catch you on the next video.